Okay, so in this video I'm going to show you how to do some caulking repair on your RV. It's very imperative that you keep up on the caulk. Um, the first RV we bought was used and I didn't even think to check the caulking on it and a lot of it was dried and weathered and cracked so we ended up getting a lot of delamination going on because of every time it rained it would, you know, leak through these uh, cracks in the caulk. So I was checking ours the other day and We've had this for just about a year now, um, and uh, as I was looking here, I was like, oh, okay. So it's, it's starting to crack right in here. As you can see, the caucus compromised right here, and you don't want water getting in here, especially on fiberglass. So I'm going to go around and I'm going to check everything, because it's a good idea that you check everything on... Um, all your caulk on your RV basically at least once twice a year especially if you live <coughs> especially if you live in like Florida and high heat places so this is not going to be fun but I'm going to show you how I do it and uh, hopefully this helps a little bit all right okay, so the tools you're going to need for this is like a scraper um, I'm going to use this little metal guy. Be careful when you're scraping. I actually bought some Goo Gone caulk remover. Once I get the caulk off and I reseal the caulk, I'm going to use Superflex non-sag sealant. I got this at uh, Camping World. So this is non-sag, so it's for like the sides. And then a trick that I learned to make it a little easier and a little less messy is once you apply the bead of caulk around whatever it is you're caulking is to before you try to smooth it out you spray it with some soapy water and then you can easily take your finger smooth it out and it won't stick anywhere the soapy water is and cleaned up with a paper towel so that's going to be uh, that's going to be the job for today and it's hot so this is not going to be pleasant <laughs> okay so i've got i've got the caulk on pretty much all cleaned up on this i'm just making sure i didn't leave any goo gone stuff here on this plastic i'm afraid it'll eat through it all right it's kind of hard to get in this corner over here with the scraper Alright, now I'm ready to reapply some caulk and dry it. Quarter inch bead. Okay, so I decided to remove the white caulk and go back and I'm going to get some black caulk. I just didn't like the way the white caulk looked. So, scraped it off, starting over. Okay, so day two of trying to fix this caulking here. Um, I originally put white on and I didn't like it. I would have rather had clear or black. So I ordered some black. I'm going to reseal this now with, with the black. Took the white back off. <clears throat> okay, so I applied the caulk. I used a small little bead. And then what I do to make it a little bit easier and a little less messy is I mix up some dish soap with some water and I spray it down once the bead is on there and I use my finger and I just slowly do this that way the caulk really won't stick to much more than where the soap is so it kinda keeps it mostly neat and now once this is dry I'll go back and I'll probably clean up a little area like this I might try to go ahead and do it now with a paper towel. But that's really, that's all there is to it. The hard part's getting the caulk off. 
which I did use this Goo Gone. I was using the Goo Gone caulk remover. I bought this at um, Camping World, and it, it did help. It did make it a little easier, but it's still it's elbow grease for that. And you just want to be careful. Uh, take your time because it's going to take time. Right here on our one of our graphics, when I was taking the caulk off, I, it was no way to avoid it. I actually did tear the graphic a little bit, but resealing it with the black caulk just covered it up. So it looks good. I'm happy with the way it turned out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna clean this off and hose it up, and uh, that's one of many, many spots that are gonna need to be rechecked. But definitely, you definitely wanna check your caulk because you do not want water getting in and causing delamination on this fiberglass. We had that with our last RV. It upset me to no end. The whole back of the RV was just loose. And it was all because up the top there was compromised caulk that I didn't realize. And, um, you know, had I known, I, I could have got up there easily and recalked it and probably saved a lot of headache. But pretty much when we drove it off the lot, there was already some delamination and it just got worse. It got worse over the year that we had it. And that's one of the main reasons we traded. We traded up. I, I almost didn't even want to go with fiberglass again because of that reason. But that's why I like the Jayco. The Jayco has uh, the vacuum bonded. Uh, uh, fiberglass so seems to be a little stronger all right I'm gonna just check all the rest of the seals just make sure you get up on the roof and you check everything especially if you live in a climate like we do here in Florida because the Sun is brutal and you want to make sure you uh, don't have any compromises in your caulk I hope that helps if you like this video and it helps you out you know hit that subscribe button leave me a comment if you got any uh, other ideas that you know that you know though that makes it a little easier I'd like to hear them, so leave us, leave us a comment, hit the like button, hit that subscribe button, and we will see you out on our next adventure.